Good evening class, this is Felicia Hodges. This is my week three analysis video about the film Citizen Four. In this film, it is the true account of when Edward Snowden released the information to the journalists. In this film, you see the raw emotion and the just how significant the information really is that he supplied them with. You see from start to finish, so you see the first communications. You also see um, just their emotion and how he reacts to the questions that are asked, um, how he's going through it. You know, you physically see how it impacts him when his uh, significant other is investigated because he's missing and this information is being released during that time. You see um, his reaction when they tell him of another individual at the end of the movie coming forward about an even more um, invasive program that exists. And the entire basis of him releasing the information, what was behind it is that the government is spying on its own citizens. And not just its own citizens, in a sense, everyone. Not, not just communications, not just metadata um, about all of the different persons in communication, everything from internet usage to emails to phone calls. And again, it's not just foreign communication to prevent attacks. It's all within the United States as well, which on its own is technically against the law, but in the film you learn that these these programs are in place and people are very much for them. Um, in one instance, you're in a courtroom and there is an attorney that represents the NSA and the government and basically tells the judiciary individuals there, the, the judges, that in some sense they should know when to step aside and let them just take over certain processes dealing with um, tracking individuals' communications. The, the significance about this film is that the government is taking away our right to privacy. And, and they don't seem to care that that's a violation of our rights. Um, in this film, it's, it's very apparent right away to me that um, Edward Snowden, it wasn't about him specifically. It was about getting the information out to people and making them aware of the situation and what was going on with the invasion of privacy, um, which in the video they actually state that in, in our society today, liberty and freedom is looked at in the same sense that privacy is looked at. And when you take that away from someone, you're, you're taking away their freedoms because they don't have the freedom to know that their conversation is completely private. Um, you can't have a conversation with your husband or your best friend and just vent about your emotions on a specific view or um, a specific person because now you're being listened to. They're, you know, they're tracking everything you do, what websites you visit, how often you visit them. That's, this is the true weight of this film to get the information out. Um, the emotion, the raw emotion behind it, I think is just, to let you know just how serious it is that it, you know, one, it was risky for him. Um, he risked his freedom. He risked never being able to come home to the United States again. You know, in the film, uh, he's being charged under the Espionage Act, which in the film they let us, they let you know that um, there's not really a defense for a charge under that act. You, you can't say that it's unjust and you can't say, well, you know, the policies are actually illegal. You can't charge me with this. There is no defense. So him releasing this information, you realize 
very quickly that he can never come home. He'll never get to go back to his everyday life that he had before. Also in the film, you you learn that they're monitoring everyone using the drones that are meant to help monitor enemies or in war times actually calculate and uh, execute military acts, not monitor individuals within the United States or even United States citizens on other country soil. Um, the video itself was very intriguing because one that the release of this information for me until this class, I had no idea had happened. And then two, you just realize the scope of the invasion of privacy that our, our own government has committed you know, you, you elect these officials and you, you entrust them to help keep our democracy alive and they're taking away our rights to privacy. Well, that's all I have this evening. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great, great night.